Hook plugs allow the user to stretch out specific parts of a plug, before it is integrated into a surface. This is achieved using the Blender native hook modifier. If you aren't familiar with it, you should look it up. To turn this into a hook plug, I'm going to first make sure, there's enough geometry in the center of all the plug's components. This center geometry will ensure, the plug can deform, when it gets stretched out. Next, I'm adding two empties, one for each side. I like to use the single arrow, as it provides a nice visual hint. Parent them to the handle. All the elements are in place now. It's time to associate the empties with specific geometry. Select the plug mesh, go into edit mode and box select the vertices on one side. Then, control select the empty. Press control H, and choose hook to selected object from the menu. This adds a hook modifier. You can test it by going into object mode and pulling on the empty. You can optionally lock all axes, except the one you want to move the empties along, which is the x-axis in this case. I deliberately didn't select all vertices on that side, because I'm adding another hook modifier for it now. And, I'm adding a third one for the center vertices as well. I'm then setting the strength value on the second mod to 0.5 and the strength for the center verts to 0.25. Doing it like this achieves a decreasing influence of the empty towards the center of the plug. I guess you can achieve the same with a single mod per side, using vertex groups, but I think it's faster and easier to do it like I did. Then, just repeat the process for the other side. Looks like I didn't catch everything there. So let's fix it. There you go. To finish, you need to repeat this for the handle and the subset. And if you have a deformer, it also needs to be hooked. The handle not updating there, is a blender issue I believe. It's a bit annoying, but doesn't really mean anything is wrong. You can initiate the move tool, and escape immediately to force update it. The validate plug tool now shows an advanced section, listing the hook modifier and the two empties. I'm then generating a new UUID for this plug, as it was created from an existing plug. Working great. Since this is a hook plug, a blue hook icon will be shown in its thumbnail. The UUID of a plug I mentioned a few seconds ago, is used to uniquely identify a plug. This is then used to store the scale and the relative empty locations from the last time it was plugged. This way you can scale and modify a plug, and can be sure it's the exact same way the next time you bring a plug of the same type in the scene. 